In this video, we will learn how to create our own company templates. So, company templates is very very important things while drafting any components. Just take a model sheet, just put any name, project name. I am going to put company drawing templates. Okay, and then click OK. Now we have to jump into drafting sheet. So directly you can control plus shift plus D or you can click on that. Now there are many options you can see here for selecting sheet templates by default templates is given here. A standard size from here you can select your standard size. This is the custom size. If you want to change your size, you can change it. I'm going to select a standard size. Okay, so just select any one of the size A3 or A4, whatever you want to select, you can select. I'm going to select A3. The scale ratio also you can change from here. Okay, sheet name, sheet number, revision, units. So, what option you want to change, you can change here. I'm going to keep as a millimeter. Next option is the projection. What projection method? First angle, third angle, what projection method you need? You can select here. Then click OK. You can see this is your boundary. This is the seat size. Next, our target is creating borders. Okay. So for border, go for drafting tools. And you can see here option is the border tools, borders and zones. So um, here you can see some border width values is there center line center mark zones there are many options so you can modify on that otherwise also you can use by default what values they give us you can use that values so like that you can see what is the center marking so this is the margin so all three sides are 5 mm and left side i want to keep 10 mm not 15 just click ok you can see your border is created our next target is to create title block so for title block go for home and create tabular nodes we need a table first okay so before inserting just define your column and number of rows so number of columns we need how much eight number of rows just define nine okay and one more thing uh, you need to define alignment so my alignment anchor point is okay but in your system suppose that is not in corner point then you can change from here bottom right corner i'm going to change so that is the option so now you can see coincidentally that is connected now you can resize your table i want to resize it so just resize it i hope you know how to create table so you can create easily your table so just a second directly i'm going to decrease all cells size so just change it as a i'm going to keep 24 width is 24 mm okay so like that i'm changing here so it is not compulsory that you have to keep all rows size is 24 or something same size according to your um, title block you can change it so i suggest you first of all you create this title block on your notebook okay first of all uh, in paper and according to that you should try okay because in many places you need to merge you need to uh, like that apply some many text uh, text many things is there so you need to create a title block on your sheet according to that you should start now you can see my table is ready now next option is there i'm going to merge okay so already i told you first you create your own sheet on your notebook and according to that you should try so i'm going to merge this all three cells merge cells so nothing you have to do just you have to select all cells and right click on that just again select this all three cells right click on that select this or two cells i'm going to select so I'm doing this according to my notebook uh, title block. Okay, already I drawn this title block. So also you need to draw on your notebook.
just select all your cells according to your requirement what data you are going to fit so like that you can see I merged all cells what actually we need next option is there define title block okay so just you have to select this uh, you have to select this table okay I mean you have to convert as a title block already I applied so no need to apply here again so now you want to text something on these cells then populate title block will appear here and you can write whatever you want to text suppose I am, I am going to write here um, according to my notes general tolerance general tolerance you can see level option is there uh, so like the same you have to change your level and you have to type whatever you want to type level in general tolerance i want to apply 0 0.2 so plus minus symbol uh, here you can't apply symbol so you have to copy and then you have to paste here then only you can apply okay so now now it is okay i think you understand the next in level 2 uh, what i'm going to apply all dimensions are in mm so I am doing this according to my title block already I created here on my notebook according to that I am creating here so you should start according to your title block ok here material grade I am going to apply material grade so some important annotations I am going to put in this title block these things we need actually while creating industrial drawing so some data uh, we have to provide like that metal grade color uh, like that vendor code so vendor code okay. so like that I am going to text here and all levels also you can skip with some second okay if you understand what is the process you can ex uh, skip this process but i'm going to text in all cells okay vendor code no here we don't need vendor code just cancel it here we need weight okay according to my drawing i want to apply here components weight in grams also you have to mention here okay in what unit you are going to mention here your weight next go for level 6 so I don't need to apply anything here here you have to apply what color okay so suppose some material you choose what is the color of that material you have to define and go for level 11 here I am going to put vendor code okay vendor code means suppose in, in your industries you are uh, you are getting some components from other companies another uh, vendors so they will provide or you are having some vendor codes that vendor code you have to mention here here I am going to put in level 16 part name so what component is here in this drawing sheet so part name you can put here this level 17 ERP item code so every components having separately ERP item code with the help of that ERP item code only you can uh, track your components your product so that is very important things here I am going to apply in level 8 grain finish so material grain finish surface finish grain finish whatever uh, grain finish is there you have to apply you have to mention that values okay that is uh, like the surface finish is glossy or semi glossy you have to apply okay in this cell I am going to apply level 12 2022 in I mean in which way in which year I am creating this drawing sheet in this cell 
just apply something like the name here I'm going to put signature sign and then level 15 date okay so just go for level 18 where I'm going to put drawn by okay so who drawn this project this drawing okay so just put drawn by next go for 20 drawn by just uh, I'm keeping fill in the blank I can put anything later in level 22 checked by who checked your drawing you have to mention that then next I'm going to apply in 20 8 level number 28 here I'm going to apply approved by who approved my drawing so all drawn by checked by and approved by members name sign and date should be in your drawing sheet okay so like that here I'm going to mention scale ratio and scale we are going to mention here what scale you applied here you can put one is to one or not to a scale if you are going to follow your skill ratio or you having some skill ratio you can apply otherwise you can mention there uh, not to a scale okay and ts in this cell i'm going to put drawing number okay definitely you need a drawing number on your drawing sheet okay then only your drawing can be tracked in level 35 tool number okay machining tools suppose you having uh, your company then toll number you have to apply so like that in level 26 I want to apply something but I want to use another method actually here okay so directly I will do normal text here you can see here if you want to change anything just double click on that you can change or also you can click on populate title block now I'm going to uh, image for logo for logo or for anything like that uh, first of all I'm going to create for logo I'm inserting my logo just insert it okay so already uh, you saw this option is available in annotation toolbar you can see that is nearby note and just adjust it Now next I'm, I want to insert angle of, angle of projection image okay also you can create with the help of a sketch or you can insert I am inserting here let's resize it and place it okay also you can create this um, by using a sketch tools but I am inserting here try to insert transparent image so I'm going to put note here okay so I want to put company name so I am putting here CAD with Vikram okay just insert here text size suppose you want to change also you can change your text size okay but also we need another thing like that address Dwarka more so and separately if you want to change uh, text size dimension uh, text dimension then you can change that also simply I am placing here you can understand easily because I hope already you know about note about text you can see so like that you can create your title block your title block is ready right now ok next you have to mark as a template so click on mark as a templates then don't go for packs file mark as templates only and then click ok now you have to save it ok go for save save as ok and go for any path location you can select anywhere I am going for desktop and just remember that extension code will be dot part only just save it just once close it and open your templates go for open and select your templates and click ok 
you can see the templates appeared here i hope you understand